Okay, today's video, highly, highly, highly requested. I had stopped doing my food videos because they just don't get the views and it hurts your channel when you don't get the views. But I have had so many people ask me about how I eat and about my Ninja Creamy Protein uh, ice creams that I make and do I love the Ninja? And I do love my Ninja Creamy a lot. I love her as much as I love my air fryer. Um, so I thought I would do this video because the Ninja Creamy is probably going to be on a lot of people's Christmas list. And when it does come in stock, wherever it is carried, it sells out completely and quickly. So I have seen it advertised that it's back in stock at a couple of places. So I thought, okay, I'll do my Ninja Creamy because I think, let's see, today I'm recording this, it is October 28th, I think it's the 28th, and I think a lot of people have already started their Christmas holiday shopping, so why not think about the Ninja Creamy? Even if it's something you want for yourself and you know that that other person in your life is a last minute shopper, you might want to pick it up yourself and put it in the closet for them. <laughs> All right, so uh, the Ninja Creamy is uh, a very hard item to find because it does sell out. So, so this is going to be my first holiday idea shopping video, okay? And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm actually going to share with you a couple of recipes, how I make them. And all of those recipes will be underneath the video. And if you don't know how to open the video, just hit show more. And if you still can't figure it out, just write. As I go along, I'm telling you everything that I am putting in my little concoctions. So just write it down, okay? There are only a few basic things that you need to follow as I show you how to do it. I'll explain more about that. The Ninja Creamy has a couple of different models. I have the original one. Yes, I would like to try the new one, but I think Lou would think I have lost my mind because I have one in Buffalo and one here. <laughs> but I bought this one. I got very lucky. I just happened to be strolling through Walmart. Um, was that here or in Buffalo? No, that was in Buffalo. I happened to be strolling through a Walmart in Buffalo and I could not believe it. It was like it was waving at me. It was the only one on the shelf. And I said, oh my goodness, I need to have it here because I was really missing them. So uh, I, I did end up buying it. It's, it's the exact same model. This one I bought at Costco last December. I'm hoping Costco brings them back into stock, but so far I have not seen them. So anyway, uh, so that this video doesn't go too long because I do share quite a few recipes with you. And at the end of the video, I share with you how to actually uh, use the Ninja Creamy after you have frozen your little concoctions overnight, 24 hours they need. After you have frozen them, I take you through the steps of how to use this. Now, I only use it to make ice creams, but it can make other things. It does come with a how-to book. There are a ton of people making uh, creamies on uh, Instagram, TikTok, I'm sure. But um, you don't have to make them into a protein ice cream. I do because I need to make sure that I am taking in the right amount of protein. And because I am also someone that knows that I enjoy a little sweet treat out for dinner, um, I just worked it all out so the calories fit into my uh, calories for the day and the creamies fit in with my macros. But you can switch out anything, do it your way. If there's an ingredient that I use or someone else uses, you don't have to use it. Um, we don't need all the research and reports put in the comments of how bad it is for us. We're all adults here. Make your own decisions. If you are plant-based, bravo, you go for it in a plant-based. And then after you make it, please tell me how it turned out because I've not made one with plant-based because I don't care for plant-based uh, uh, protein powders. But anyway, you can make it with regular milk and you can make it with almond milks, chocolate milk, whatever you want. You can make it with coconut milk. It is your creamy to be made, my friends. So just take my ideas and maybe some of my flavor concoctions 
and run with it. All right. So, so what I'm going to do is just share some recipes with you first. Stay tuned to the end because that shows you how to actually use this creamy. And remember, I will link everywhere I can find the Ninja Creamy below this video. If this is something that you truly are interested in, and then after my recipes, you have been piqued or you are very excited to have one, don't wait on these, my friends, because it does sell out. All right, so Merry Christmas to you, Merry Christmas to me. That's how I do it. All right, my friends, the recipes. Okay, so let's get to baking our first creamy. This is going to be my white chocolate peppermint. I'll put the recipe below, of course. All right, so we're gonna first start out with our liquid and everything I use is weighed out on my little scale. And liquids are usually done in mil, so I have 240 mil going into my container. Liquids always go first. Next, I'm going to add a quarter cup of water. The next liquid I have, which will be controversial because it does have sucralose in it, but the last time I had a brain MRI, it showed no holes in my brain, so I'm okay with it. And this is the Torani Sugar-Free White Chocolate Syrup. We're only going to use a tablespoon of it. You can eliminate this if you do not like sucralose. So one tablespoon of the white chocolate syrup. These are found at Home Goods. And if you don't like an ingredient that I am using, you can always find something that you like and make it your own. Okay, we don't, uh, we don't food shame here. Some people like to eat prepackaged foods and some people don't. I am a whole foods person, but 20% of my diet, I allow fun things in. And like I said, last time I had a brain scan, it didn't show any holes because I know people come under the comments and they tell me the sucralose is gonna cause holes in my brain. Well, I don't have any holes in my brain as of yet. All right, so my liquids are added. Next, I'm going to go in with my Clean and Simple Eats White Chocolate Peppermint Protein Powder. This is going to give you 20 grams of protein. It is wonderful. I love white chocolate peppermint. So that is pre-measured to one serving. In it goes. And then I am going to take a whisk, and I got this at Home Goods, and I'm just going to whisk whoops, those ingredients up, and I just give it a whirl. Now, you do need a thickening agent, as I have mentioned, and you have to use either something that has a higher level of fat to it or a thickening agent to it. You will see that a lot of people, and again, I have no problem with you using these things. I put them in my own creamies and they are wonderful. I do have to watch aspartame. It affects me totally different than sucralose, but you could also get the Jello sugar-free instant white chocolate and put a serving in, which would be seven grams. So you would weigh out seven grams and put it in with your liquids and your protein powder and mix it all up, okay? So that is up to you. If you don't want to use this, you can get the flavor with this. All right, so next we are going to add uh, something else that will make it creamy and really thick. And that is the Philadelphia cream cheese. I do one, I do a half serving of this, so 15 grams. Now for this, no need to stir, just drop it in and you are done. That is all you are going to do at this point. So we are going to put a lid on it, and then I will put a piece of tape on here that says white chocolate peppermint, so I know what this is. And that is it. Now, if you don't like cream cheese, because I know someone's going to ask me in the comment, I don't like cream cheese, is there something else I can use? Mascarpone, I use all the time. It is fabulous and it just adds a rich decadent flavor to the creamy. So yes, I have used this with this formula and it is so, so good. But I just thought I would use something that is readily available to people. Some people may not be able to find this. 
everybody can find cream cheese, okay? So that is it. So now this goes in the freezer for 24 hours. So now I'm gonna talk about the mix-ins I would use for this particular creamy and uh, how I mix them in. And whatever one, I don't know what flavor I'll be sharing with you in this video that I'm actually using on the Ninja Creamy. Um, but uh, my mix-ins, I will show you how I add the mix-ins for that particular brand. This is what I would use for the white chocolate, and I have tried all of these in there, and they are all superb. So uh, I love these, and they usually come out at Christmas time. You can get a huge bag at Costco. I buy the big bag because I uh, like to do some desserts at Christmas time using these as well. I would only use one square. Serving size is three squares. You do not need it. So I take one square, put it in the freezer so it's already frozen when you add it in. You don't have to do that, but I like the extra crunch. Um, when I put them in at room temperature, they kind of disappear in the creamy and I like a little bit of crunch. So I would add one of these or this is a wonderful, wonderful flavor. And I buy this bag at Home Goods, and this is just candy cane crushed up. So if you can't find these, just candy cane crushed up. And again, you want to go with just enough. So a serving is 28 grams. I'm not gonna use 28 grams of this. It would be way too much in the ice cream. I'm gonna use a quarter of a serving, and then that'll take the calories down for you, but I will weigh that out. So about seven grams. I will put of the peppermint in there, and I will also chop up a quarter serving of a Hue chocolate, or I have used the Ghirardelli also. So whatever works in your macros or your calories that you have left for the day, because most people, some people eat this as a meal. This is my dessert after dinner, and I look forward to this every single night. So uh, that is uh, my white chocolate peppermint. I forgot, uh, you can also do some of the chocolate bar and uh, pretzels. So you could have white chocolate pretzels and a, a little bit of chopped up uh, chocolate in there. And this is also wonderful. And this is also found at Costco around the holidays. And I would I take one pretzel and weigh it so I know how many grams it is, and then I can go ahead and put it into my fitness pail and it will tell me exactly how many calories is in this pretzel. Just one little pretzel, okay? All you have to do is know the brand and you just put it into whatever you're using for your macros and it should pull it up. Oh my goodness, that smells so wonderful, these. Okay, okay up next is going to be my pumpkin pie creamy. So good, my friends, so good. Start I'm gonna be fair life. Uh, reduced fat. I have used the 0%. I like the 0% better because it's actually fewer calories. But if you don't want to use all the uh, thickening agents, you do need something with fat in it. And yes, you can use coconut milk. You can use almond milk, cashew milk, whatever you like. It just has to have a level of fat to it in order to really make a nice creamy and also I cannot guarantee how it's going to turn out if you use vegan protein powder because I don't use vegan protein powder for anything. I think you all know I do not like vegan protein powders. Okay, so we're gonna start with our liquid. So I have a serving of my milk. I'm gonna go in with a quarter cup of water. Now, if you wanted to, this is totally up to you, I'm not going to, but Torani does make a sugar-free pumpkin pie uh, flavored syrup, so you can use that. I'm not going to. To this, I am going to add one serving of my Clean Simple Eats Pumpkin Pie Protein. Just going to toss it in there. And now I'm going to add as much as I want, measure with your heart, of pumpkin pie spice. I'm going to put about that much in there. You can also add cinnamon to this if you choose. All right, so I'm going to go in with my handy dandy little whisk and whisk those powdered ingredients together. Now I will also mention this because um, I want you all to have a good experience with this. So I wanna give you options. And you could also, as your thickening agent, add your sugar-free instant jello pudding if this is what you like to use. This is vanilla. You would just add a serving, which is seven grams. I also use the Simply Delish, 
And this is a sugar-free keto pudding in case I want to make one for Lou. Now this is banana flavor. I have strawberry, I have chocolate, and I have vanilla. But these are expensive and they may be out of people's budgets. And that's why I say no food shaming here because people are having a hard time putting food on their table. So they need to buy what fits within their budget, okay? All right, so you can add that to this if you would like. It'll make it creamier. If you're using a fat-free milk, you may want to add a little bit of the pudding mix. All right, so uh, next I'm going to add my measured out pumpkin and there's about 60 grams. So I add the pumpkin puree, not pie mix. And that was 60 grams. And this is the pumpkin that I'm using. You can use any plain pumpkin you want. All right, so then I'm gonna go in with my whisk. Now this is where you have to be a little careful and just give it a moment to catch on. And after it has really worked its way through, then you can get a nice, smooth, creamy blend. And it's already starting to look like a pumpkin pie. Your spices really do make a difference here. So if you like a really strong pumpkin pie flavor, make sure that you're adding enough spice. And the cinnamon, you can also add cinnamon uh, as a mix-in. So just gonna stop. And that is pretty much it, my friends. But now I'm going to add my mascarpone cheese, and this is 14 grams, that's one serving. And you don't mix this one, you just drop it in. And the Ninja Creamy will do it all for you. And I get every last bit of it. All right, so that is it for the pumpkin pie. Again, you can add cinnamon, you can use the syrup, you can add pudding. It's your creamy, so you do what you want. I'm just giving you ideas here, my friends. So then I will go ahead and put the lid on it. I'll take my tape and put pumpkin pie mascarpone. So I know uh, that I added this instead of cream cheese because sometimes I like different mixins. So that is it. That is all there is to making a cream. Okay, so now this one, I'm just making up as I go along, okay? I wanna show you how easy it is. So of course you know I need my protein powder. So I wanna do a lemon coconut. I haven't tried this yet, could be a fail, but I'm going to put it on here in case it's excellent. Then it's another flavor that you can think about uh, making for yourself. So I'm using the clean and simple coconut cream protein powder, one serving, 34 grams. I will put everything below. So I already have it in here. So now, now this one here, you might have a hard time finding. I have to have someone send this to me because I can't find this flavor. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the Jell-O sugar-free pudding instant uh, so that uh, those of you who uh, can find this easily and have no problem with ingesting it, you can use it in your smoothies. It makes a wonderful smoothie, my friends. It truly does. All right, so uh, this is the lemon flavor, which is very hard to find. So if you can't find the lemon, you can go ahead and use vanilla and then get some of this true lemon. This is nothing more than crystallized lemon and just use it. It has no calories, no sugar added to it. It's just crystallized lemon. That is it. And just, you know, test it and see how much lemon flavor you like or not. So you can go ahead and use this uh, to make up the lemon flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and use the lemon flavor. So I want seven grams of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna cut a little slice. And my scale is at zero. So now I'm just going to sprinkle slowly. And I stop in between until I get to seven grams. That is one serving, and that's all you need for a creamy. All right, just a little bit more. We're almost there, and, and I am exact. <laughs> I either go one under, 6.9, or seven. I never go over because then I'm cheating myself with my calories. All right, so that's all set there. So now to this, I'm going to add my liquid, and I'm gonna use a different liquid this time just to um, you know, try it out and let you see how you would use other liquids. So I wanna do coconut lemon. So I'm going to use this coconut. It's a unsweetened vanilla. I really like this one a lot. Shake it really well because this is actually real. Or you can go ahead and use the um, Califia brand, but this one here is coconut and almond milk. 
I do prefer making my creamies with the 100% coconut. So I have that all measured out. It's 240 mils, just like regular milk. And this has a good fat content to it. So this is gonna help it become really creamy, my friends. So if you really like a lot of coconut flavor, I wanted to let you know, because maybe you don't like coconut milk, you could add this to regular milk and you can use the sugar-free coconut from Torani. These are at Home Goods and they have all kinds of flavors. They do have crappy ingredients in them, but if you're eating a whole foods diet 80% of the time, you know, I think it's okay to uh, live a little, my friends, live a little. So there I have the base of my creamy. I'm gonna go in with my whisk and I'm just going to whisk that up until it's all blended. I'm gonna make sure that I move it around the bottom because I did put the powder in first. And just really mix it up. And I need to add a half, a quarter cup of water to this, which I'm going to do in one second. So I'm just going to turn this off. And a quarter cup of water here, I'm gonna pour it in. And I am going to go ahead and mix this up again. Now, at this point, you could add cream cheese if you like, if you want it a little thicker and creamier. You can also add the mascarpone, but you don't need to. You could also add a quarter serving of a coconut yogurt to this or a lemon yogurt, uh, just for more protein in it and also for creaminess. Now, keep in mind when you're using a yogurt, sometimes when they freeze, they do get a little more tart. So they are good to tie in with something like this that is really sweet. All right, so that is basically it. I'm not really gonna do anything else to this. I have a great base for my creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on and then I will put my tape on that says lemon coconut cream. And then after 24 hours, I will blend it up and do my mix-ins. I already know what mix-ins I'm gonna do here. Maybe I'll share them with you. I'll be I right wanted back. to come back and uh, tell you that if you add your powder first, you're gonna have to take a butter knife or something and really stir the bottom and then go back in with your whisk. Uh, I never really add the powder first. I was doing it to save time. Always add your liquids and then your powder. Uh, so now I just need to go back in with my whisk and really whisk it up so that it's smooth. I don't need any chunks of protein powder in my ice cream. Okay, so that is much better. There's no protein powder hanging around on the bottom. What the heck? I am known for my long videos, so I'm gonna throw one more recipe in. We're gonna start with our liquid. I am going to use the chocolate reduced fat from Fairlife. It is lactose free, that's important for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one serving of this. I give it a little bit of a shake. This is a new container. I have my scale on mill and I'm going to measure out 240 mil. And I always stay below or right on target. So I'm at 230 and I just put drizzles in until I get to where I want to be. Okay, There's so I have 240 mil. If you did not want to use chocolate milk, I have used this and it is a uh, very nice substitute. This gives it a little bit more creaminess without adding a lot of stuff to it. But this here is, um, it really makes a nice creamy. Next, I'm going to add a quarter cup of water. I like to add water. I just think it helps if you're adding the pudding mix in. I don't know why, it's just, it could be just my brain. Okay, so, now, so I'm gonna put my scale back on grams for the rest of my measurements. And I'm gonna go in with the instant jello chocolate i think this is just plain chocolate i've used chocolate fudge as well uh, i'm just going to do seven grams of this remember i live by the 80 20 rule my friends and um, i'm okay with using this however if you do not want to have sucralose or aspartame you can go ahead and order the sugar-free keto pudding from simply delish it's also very nice it does have an aftertaste, so I don't really care for that much, but I do use this so that I'm not always using that. I have to be very careful with aspartame. Uh, so anyway, there is my uh, uh, pudding mix in there. So now I'm going to go in with my clean, simple eats chocolate brownie batter. So good. We're going to put a serving of this is 34 grams. We're going to clear it out and I'm going to go ahead and pour half of that 
and then I just start to slow down a little so I don't go over my 34 grams and I just take a small amount, 33, that should take me to 33.9. Okay, perfect. All right, so now I have my milk, my liquid, my pudding, my protein powder, and to make it even more death by chocolate, I'm going to go ahead and use my black cocoa. You can use regular cocoa powder. And I also measure this out in grams. And for this, a serving size is seven grams. So I'm gonna clear my scale out. And I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit at a time. I pretty much can eyeball things, but I don't. I stay true to my macros, whether I am in maintenance or I'm trying to eat a surplus. I'm gonna take a little bit of that out because I went a little crazy. That's the thing, if you put it in there just on top of the other powder stuff, you can take out. Okay, so now I'm at six, nine, so I'm perfect. So now I'm gonna take my whisk and I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this up. So now I have my base to my death by chocolate. The next thing I'm going to add, and you don't really have to because we've used the pudding here, but I just like the uh, creaminess, either one of these adds, and the flavor that this one especially adds. So we can go with our Philadelphia cream cheese, and I believe this is the third less fat, and this is just the regular mascarpone. So I think I'm gonna go with cream cheese on this one. So I'll remove this, and I will go ahead and place this on, clear it out, and 15 grams is a half serving. So I'm just gonna pull up, that's 15 grams exactly. So okay. now I will just go ahead and plop it in. No need to mix it because the Ninja Creamy is going to do it and the whisk does not do it well. So that is the base to my Death by Chocolate. Okay, so I'll put my piece of tape on here, Death by Chocolate, in the freezer for 24 hours or until I'm ready to have this flavor. I make seven up, I order in extra containers, I make seven all at once so that I have them for the week. I have one of these every single night and my friends, I have not gained a pound, not a pound, okay? I mean, you can enjoy life and maintain your weight. I'm living proof of it, 64 years old, post-menopausal, we can enjoy life and i'm a healthy person i'm not i know a lot of people this is what they focus on when they see me make food they don't really ever focus on the broccoli and the salads and the veggies and the fruits that i eat they only focus in on the things that they disapprove of but this is my 20 percent i live by 80 percent whole foods and the majority of my food is plant-based uh, i do eat chicken and turkey because uh, I have a hard time getting in my protein. So I eat chicken, very lean pieces of chicken and turkey. But anyway, this video is not about what I eat. It's about my Ninja Creamies. <laughs> okay, one more. I already have it all mixed up because I did everything the same way. This one's gonna be a chocolate peanut butter. I'm using the Clean Simple Eats chocolate peanut butter protein. Because I'm going to be adding actual protein in here and it's higher in calories, I'm going to use the unsweetened almond breeze chocolate milk because it comes in at 40 calories. And then I did put seven grams of the instant chocolate pudding in there. I put a half cup of water in there. And now I'm going to take this off. I'm going to measure out 28 grams, which is a full serving of the American Dream Rocky Trail Cashew Butter. This has peanut butter, chocolate in it, and it's a cashew butter, and it is so decadent, my friends. It is fabulous. We have a code for this now. All right, and this is one of their uh, fall releases. All right, so we're gonna zero it out, and I'm gonna go with 26 grams. That's 25.7, good enough. All I'm going to do is scrape it into my Ninja Creamy mix, and that is it, I'm gonna leave it because the Ninja Creamy will take care of everything. And that just adds another beautiful layer and that is it. So now I'm just going to put the lid on this one and it's going to be called my chocolate peanut butter, okay? Okay, so now that is all seven of the flavors that I'm going to eat this week. And there they all are, waiting for me to enjoy. See you when it's time to do the mixing. Okay, so this is the Ninja Creamy that I have. They do have two models. This is the original model. 
Um, the difference, I don't really know the difference between them. It's, they look different, but I'm not sure, you know, the functions or anything like that. But I do know that you cannot use these containers with the new one. So I bought extra of these uh, for this one, but I do want the new one. <laughs> All right, so we are going to, I'm going to show you how to blend your creamy. When you take it out of the freezer, it will be frozen, of course. And this is what it looks like when I put it in there. It has my label on it and the lid. So when you open it, it will look like this. Now, depending on how cold your freezer is, you may have a, you know, a, a, the center may pop up a little bit. It's all fine. Another thing that's very important is do not fill it with your uh, liquids and your powders before you freeze it past this line because then you'll have a mess. So um, here's the max fill line. You can see I have enough space because it, the volume does grow. All right, so you have a container here. First, let's turn the power on. So I have the power on. This is the container it comes with. You place this one inside and it has little grooves on the bottom. You just kind of twist it and it locks into place. And then the top, there's a blade and the top looks like this for the model that I have. And I am going to push this button over. So you slide this down. I'm going to turn this and just put it into the lid and let that little lever go. So this is what it's going to look like when you have it all together. So now you're going to take it and just slide it and lock it into place. Now I am working backwards here. So give me a few moments to get this right. So now I'm going to... You want to turn it, let it, it'll latch on, you twist it all the way up, your power is on, and you want to do light ice cream. Now it does get loud, I'm gonna let it do its cycle, and then I'll come back. Okay, so the first cycle has stopped. So there's a little button on the side here, you press that down, and you twist this off. Now, you'll take the top off only one time, and when you take it off, it's gonna look powdery. That's just, it'll be more, the, the, the colder your freezer is, the more powder look you're gonna get to it. So what I like to do is, I'll lift this out for a second because what happens is you'll get these ice crystals along the side that don't necessarily blend in, and I don't like that. So I take my butter knife and I just go along the sides to loosen the ice crystals. Do it carefully so you don't make a mess. And it's just to loosen up the side walls so I don't have ice chunks in my ice cream because my freezer gets very, very cold. And then I'm just going to put it back into the container. And now you want to uh, add two tablespoons of the liquid you used or this is, I should say that this is an apple pie creamy and I air fried apples and put them in the blend before I froze it. I'll put the recipe underneath for you and how to do everything. So I have this powdery little mess here. So now I want to add a little caramel because apple pie and caramel go really well together. So I'm going to shake this up and this is just the nut pod and it's the caramel creamer and one tablespoon is 10 calories. So I'm going to put two tablespoons and I'm gonna it's gonna look like I'm putting four because I only have my half tablespoon here so I'm going to put four of these in there one two three and four okay so now I'm just going to put the top back on lock it into place put it on the machine and hit the grooves, lock it back in, and now you're going to hit respin and just let it do its thing. And you're going to do this a couple times. So just let it do its thing and we'll be right back. Okay, so that cycle's done. I have to bring it back down and now we have to lock it back into place, bring it back up and do another respin. Okay, so that's the final spin for me. Now it's time to do my mix-ins. And I like to add these um, it's a shortbread round, it's pure butter cookies. I really love the flavor of these. So I measure out a quarter of a serving. 
I just like a little bit of crunch and I don't need a lot of things mixed in. You can also use the Pepperidge Farm uh, Chessmen. You can use graham crackers. Whatever you like with your apple pie, that's kind of how you get your idea. That's where you get your ideas from, is how do you like your apple pie? Do you like it with like granola? Because you could actually add some granola in there. It's up to you. All right, so now I'm just going to remove it take it off. Now, if I had put too much in, it would have been oozing all out here. And you do have to, there that little uh, drill that comes down, you do want to just wipe that off when you're done because there is ice cream on that. So you just wipe it off. I take some alcohol and I clean it off just to make sure that it's clean. All right, so I have measured out my cookies and it's a quarter of a serving. And I like to break them up. You can stick them in whole, but the chunks are a little bit larger. So now I'm going to open it up and you'll see it's, it's just beautiful creaminess. Look at that, it's just beautiful creaminess. I take my spoon and I just clean this up and I put it back into my ice cream. And then I do lick this when I'm done <laughs> because I count this as my calories, so I'm gonna get them all. <laughs> All right, so there is that, but I need to push a hole in the center. Now you could stop right here and just add your mix-ins and be, go on your way, but I'm going to break them up, stick them down in, and then I'm going to push them in and kind of flatten this down so I can put the lid back on. Mm, very good. And now it might ooze out a little bit, because I have disturbed it. But I'm just going to put this back on and latch it back in place. And just now this time you're gonna do mix-ins and it'll be a shorter mix. So there is the final mix, take it off. Now you'll see it gets a little messy there because I disturbed it by taking it out of the lid. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just added my cookies in and put it back on. So you just wipe it off and we're good to go. And that is it. That is all you need to do to make a creamy. Now there are other, you can make gelato, ice cream, sorbet, smoothie bowls, and milkshakes with this. My nephew makes milkshakes all the time. I just make my ice creams. So I'm going to take this off now. And I have all that in the lid. So I am going to scrape that off. And then you just take your little container out and enjoy your ice cream. Look at that, it's beautiful, just gorgeous. Mmm, mm. tastes just like an apple pie with cinnamon, it does. All right, my friends, this is the creamy, great Christmas gift for you or somebody else. I think this is a great wedding gift as well. Now it does sell out, so I will link it every single place I can find it. I don't think this is something you should wait on. Get them while the getting's good. This is awesome, my friends, absolutely awesome. Awesome. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. Hit that subscribe button right next to it as the bell it notifies you of all the videos that I'm putting up. Until the next time, my friends, go out in the world, be lovable, and remember, it is okay to love your age. I love you all. Bisous.